<laughs> what are we doing? I'm only gone for a couple minutes. Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna go get a picture of what's the face uh, painting. If it's not raining, I hear rain. We won't be doing that. So that means we will be doing. Can't do that. Can't do that. Um, that'll happen eventually. Let's go find Salome. Dun 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 dun. dun. I do want to make some progress with the story. We have an hour and a half till Soggy. Aaron might be not be joining us, and I don't know about Kobe. So we're gonna see what happens. No, one sec, one sec. No, 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 no. How do you do, dear? If I know me. What do I owe the pleasure? I'm gonna deliver a letter from your Hello? husband. Oh, really? Do you mind if I take a look at it over here? Sure, go right ahead. Let me see him. Mm -hmm. really sorry, and he's always acting like such a coward in these times like these. Probably just thinking about the relation to Lincoln, so I'm not the least bit bothered by that incident anymore. I'm yeah, gonna tell him that I would solve what on the bridge for now. You two are married? Are you ready to forgive him? Of course, I'm sure he's already flirted, and that's enough for me. Yeah. I'll let him know. Child. Don't go, don't know. We'll sit outside his house. Apparently, they do not interact with each other whatsoever. That's okay. We have a catcher pillar. We'll do the pee pee anywhere. I'm hoping he's going to go touch up on these spots as we wait for him to come out of his house. We'll buy the beer of the day, do the uh, the run, or the race, and then we'll go to uh, uh, Patrick Bateman. Is it 30? Margaret, there's a seeds. Or Miss Hayward, did you deliver the letter to Sloan? Yeah, she says she forgives you, and then is watering the bridge. <laughs> oh Lord, thank you so much. Hey, don't you think there's someone else you'd be thanking here? Oh, it's like the right, Miss Hayward. Thank you very much. Well. Now that the business with Salome's forgiven, shall we get back to the wager? Now it's awful quick. Was he really ever sorry? I suffered a pathetic defeat in my last duel, but I must say, I now feel invincible. I've overcome great trials with tribulations, and I'm stronger for what? I'm gonna possibly defeat me now. I'm gonna make you eat those words, Chrome Dome. 
Yeah, whatever you like, little lamb. I know there's nothing better than money that makes you lose your way. Let's carry out our doodle. The usual place, hey, hey. Meet you there. Yeah, baby! I'm gonna start myself off. Dun 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 dun. What if I just talk to you and see this fight? Yeah. Okay, never mind. He's just booking it. Bring your glimmer. <laughs> Always causes nothing for trouble for slim. Not having input lag is so much easier. Cheers. When I was away for a week, I was playing on a TV that had major input lag. So like, this is... Come on now. What the heck am I got worried about me drinking too much? Girl has such a con, so... Why is it the Incredibles? I, when I was young, I was so serious, drinker saved me. Smaller plateau. Smaller platy. One more flip, and okay. Hello, Mama, don't leave me. Bruh, literally, I, I blinked. Blah. Sorry, what happened? Yeah, baby. Oh, wait. Uh. I didn't expect it to, you know, turn. You have the side that fast. Yeah, well, you know, I'm not worried about the money. Let's just go to, uh. Blimey. Yeah, baby. And then once we finish Route C, we're in the epilogue, I believe, right? Or just the end of the game? Yeah, I believe. The game is quite short. I could be wrong. Dun, 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 dun. Hey. hey you. Yes, my dear Haywood. Just wanted to give you a little warning, you know, for your own sake. You look extremely suspicious. If you were in New York, people would think you were a thief surveying a rich guy's house. Yes, true genius is often misunderstood, my dear Haywood. But very not. Mr. Watt would have never let the authorities. Well, I hope not. Mm, it appears, my dear Hayward, that you don't quite understand the true nature of this cast. What are you saying? You know who did it? In one way, I'll do. In one way, I'm done. But yes, perhaps this is a perfect chance for us to see just how much you've managed to figure out in your name. Now, pray tell young Elizabeth who killed. Yeah. Young Hayward who killed Elizabeth? Yeah. Elizabeth was her own murderer to commit suicide. Elizabeth was troubled by the um, euphoria that exists between her heart and her body. Day after day, the expectations of her hyper-religious mother and rural prejudices continued to torture her. But she had recurring nightmares about who chased, being chased by a monster wielding a box cutter. I'll see quite an intriguing theory. Huh. Glad um, you agree. Please. You completely missed the mark and appears that you have absolutely no imagination. It isn't even a theory, it's an embashed fantasy. The detective I immediately recognized that your story just told me it was stolen from someone else's work. As you spoke, your eyes gradually moved up towards the upper right. 
happens when people recall visual memories, meaning you remember when something you've already seen before. You got me. We don't beat yourself about it. You and I uh, happen to quote the words of Master Holmes from time to time. <laughs> hey, okay, I failed. I was test your natural level, my dear Hayward. Never be detective, but you may fit the service system to one. Seriously? Epitome of mediocre intelligence powered with a body of ample stoutness. Capable of shielding one from the southern harm. This is indeed the greatest assistant any detective could ever ask for. Truth is me. Now, my dear Hayward, let us continue our investigation. Let's open the door to the White House residence. Open the door, I don't know how to pick locks. Once I spell everything out for you now, simply scale the wall like a cat and unlock the door from the inside. Simple yes, come on, we don't time to waste. Exactly. We should allow to hit the pass. Alright, this cat is freaking twisted. I really wasn't the right way. It wasn't my mind. Unless there was like another climb spot inside there that I missed. Well done, Mr. Hayward. I do say you're turning out to be a fawn detective's assistant. Hey, wait up. Come now, my dear Hayward. The time has come for us to open the door to truth. Gosh darn it. Why doesn't anyone in this stupid town ever listen to me? Ready, Mr. What? Uh, All greetings to you both. I must say I was expecting this sooner. <laughs> well, I hope our tea hasn't gone completely cold now, has it? Now, Mr. What? This is purely a formality. However, it must be asked. You did not kill Elizabeth. You see that theory is more than correct? Mm. Yes, as you can see. Killing a youngster with these old hands would be quite the feat for me. Uh. I feel that it'd be quite the disadvantage with already having one foot in the grave. She was in a wheelchair. No kidding how this guy even managed to get out of bed. There's no way he'd be able to threaten Elizabeth and that turbo wheel share of hers. But there is no rule in our world that states all murders must be committed alone. Oh, oh my. I hope you're not insinuating that I am in some way complicit. In days of yore, did the one true king reign, and vanquished he, while bearing his rejecting sovereignty. A spurious ire raged deep throughout the land, and readied my mystic blade, Cortana. Proud of one king's true right hand. The spirit's power, ephem ephemeral, covered for you soon stole the blaze name, and soon all fell to ruin, the one true kind into eternal slumber, protected by the John's gentle gods. Crocky, I didn't think there was anyone younger than me left in town who knew how to recite the old poem. Unfortunately. Something quite peculiar about that poem. Common legend has it that Cortana once belonged to Sir Tristram. One of Kang's author's knights at the round table. But according to the poem, the soul's name was stolen, and it now sleeps, together with the one true Kang. Ah, oh, yes, a very perceptive observation. What am I? What I'm about to explain to you now could never be called a proper theory. <laughs> yes, it is but a walking shadow, a tall tale, bond idiot. <laughs> oh well, I certainly can't wait to hear the rest of it. That the Cortana referred to in this poem is truly the same thing that was once called Excalibur. If Excalibur was the weapon used to murder Elizabeth, then perhaps the incident is connected to the bloodline of the one true king. 
Are you saying that one of the King Arthur's descendants might be living out here in the boonies? Ah. Come now, Lady Highwood. There's no need to get so out of sorts. After all, the blood of Alexander the Great could have been running through your veins for all you know. Yeah. Blood laws mean very little in the end. I'm surprised to hear you say such a thing. Mr. What? A woman in a wheelchair was murdered, and left with an old soul impaling her ah. chest. This is abnormal. Hardly, hardly abnormal. Oh yes, a true, tragic, horrific affair. And as you pointed out, only a fool will get hung up on matters of blood bonds. But a culprit here is incapable of doing something tragic, horrific, and highly abnormal. Perhaps in this culprit's case, blood bonds alone could be connected to the very mold of itself. Oh yes, another one. As a rule, the more bizarre thing is, the more mysterious it proves to be, yes? Oh, that was a stinking shiv. Mm. Apologies, but it's nearly time for Dr. Falkory to come and give me my checkup. I must thank you. I haven't had a conversation this stimulating in quite a while. The pleasure is always all ours, sir. Thank you for sharing your precious time with us. I have one last question for you. What's with the painting? It doesn't really seem to fit with the rest of the decor. Oh, that is a thank you gift I received a long time ago from someone I once did a favor for. Inspired by a legend about a jaunt. It's really one of my favorite pieces. Oh yeah, if it was a present, then I guess you couldn't exactly toss it in the closet or something. Enough talking, my dear Haywood. It's time we were off to the next part of our investigation. A fish mile in Jupiter. Alright, see you later, boss. You're welcome to hear any time, old men like me have lots of spare time on our hands. The lands, eh? Mr. Walt is not the killer, but he's holding something. A sword taken from his house was used for the murder weapon, and now it's gone missing. Yeah, he didn't try to defend himself at all, which to my deductions implies he was afraid of saying too much at the risk of impl implicating somebody else. Painfully clear what he's trying to protect. Perfectly boring piece of rubbish currently decorates his drawing room. Beyond that John in that picture is this, this very time greenery matches up perfectly. And judging from the position of the setting sun, it must be the King's Wood over there, to the west of the lake in the south. The painting was drawn by Malta Berryman, who even had a signature on it. Therefore, we need to go and pay a visit to Berryman's house next. Now, my dear Haywood, I want to our next destination. Let us reconvene in front of the Berryman residence. Fishawa and Shepata. Oh no, dude. No road doth lead to the King's Break. An unseen path there is to take. Yet, since the path can't be perceived, you will arrive right as you leave. Burials mock the true king's room, tomb, scrawling waves of the ancient doom. Burials alone protect the treasures to try to tie our caves together. Caves a tether. Natural by an aerial audio. What's their deal? Lobster? Lobster. Seriously? Not him again. Nope. Yep, lobster. I get it. What kind of reaction is that? This is why I hate New Yorkers. You're freaking chatterheads. You know, I've never had anyone in some intelligence room at that angle before. Hope you get sent to Boston someday, sister. Where I'm from, you can't do a proper lobster pose. No one would even want to talk to you. Well, that doesn't sound very politically correct to me. It's a joke, you frickin' moron. That's all you came here to do, tell bad jokes? See, I always knew you were a small time. The twin song back there really did in three for your loop, didn't it? Listen up, yuppie. Both the king's sword and the royal tomb are private property, basically serving a huge scoop to us in a silver platter. Seriously? Ah, you bet the lyrics to that little rapper that is didn't make a dang like a sense. Relax, don't have a heart attack, I'm gonna solve this mystery before you can even say wicked smart. Wait, what? You're trying to steal my scoop? <laughs> Your scoop? What are you nuts? You didn't even know the scoop until I spelled it out for you. Anyway, I've got bigger fish to fry. Best of luck, yuppie. Lobster! <laughs> He's wicked.
get some on. Can we go get plastered again? We're still drunk, I believe. No, we're not. Here comes the sheep. Skirt! Yeah, baby. Baby. Dunka, 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 dunka. Let me fight you, I'm fine. It's not my fault you cheated, I had to, I had to fix my eyeballs. Yeah, baby. baby. Oh, Alright, now where the heck is this barking bin, Sherlock? Jeez. We really have to meet up here. People are gonna think I'm some freak who goes around peeping at people's windows. Seriously? Eek. That sounded really creepy. Couldn't be a ghost. No, why would a ghost be hanging out in the middle of town like this? Wait, that kind of sounds like someone's moaning. Better get moving. That smells like a scoop. Hey, you okay? I'll do this to you. Help me out here. Can't hear you, dang it. Can you speak any louder? Ma. Ma. Stomach. Anyone stab you, or was it poison? So. Hungry. What? Oh, I'm so hungry. I think I'm on the. Nah. Please, bring me something to eat. I'm begging you, bring me something pep and hot. Could have been stupid, but he really looks like he's in trouble. Pep and hot, right? Mm. Maybe we'll find something if I hit the Mushroom in Evans or 1977. I have a disc gun over at, uh, 1977. I'll be going in here. Hey. Hey. Uh, John, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm full of something popping hot. You might have some trouble getting some something that stays hot for the long. You better be going off to the cafe. I think you want to have an state, so that's what you're looking for. Once they have a long, like... <laughs> Why not? Summit stronger. Some whiskey will warm your weight up. Oh, calm then, yeah. <laughs> it is raining. Hey, easier to mind. <laughs> I'm a pro. Huh? Hey, you done this already? I'm not gonna make something like this. Pipe and hot dish cooked by your truly just at perfect temperature. We're gonna eat a while. It's pipe and hot. Like our respect for what gives you lunch. Be free lunch. I know. I know. If I start to get cold, I'll just eat it myself. And I'm gonna just eat it myself. Let's slop them up. Hey, you're down and brought you a pipe and hot meal. <laughs> hot, delicious. Yes, this is brilliant. Glad to hear it. Thanks, I was right on the verge of starving to death. Jeez. Why'd you let yourself get so hungry in the first place? Don't tell me you're one of those people who can't even cook for themselves. Though it shames me to admit it. Machines in my area of expertise. Uh -huh. Actually a bit of a mop in the kitchen. How do you usually get food then? My old dear. Most of the time things work out for farm, but not today. Mom's always loved to paint. But this morning she headed off to the lake, you know, southern one. Went and made some food before she left. And then my old man said he wanted to eat with her. Took her all the food uh -huh. to your mom. 
Flash rock. My folks aren't exactly the rocket scientists, if you get what I'm saying. I was explaining why you really starved death. Oh well, it's a simple see about what we can do. I got my hands on some really new hallway. This thing I knew, I'll dismantle it. Guess in one way you're really passionate, and also really stupid. <laughs> you could say the apple doesn't fall fall from the tree. <laughs> well done, my dear Hayward. I think we'll handle this save the life of one of our prom persons of interest. Push up and yo. Hey, no luck. Whoops. No burden. Burden is where I may or may not have been until I got here. On the contrary, we should concern ourselves with the fact that Martha Bowman is not there. According to John, his parents went to the southern lake. There's no time to waste. We need to hurry up to set the nickel wants. Fish are and ship as I. Oh, hold on a minute. What do you what do you want with my old dear? Master John Bowman, there is no absolute there is absolutely no concern no need for concern. My assistant now simply investigating Elizabeth Dickens' murder case. What's that got to do with man? One of our persons of interest. Thus, we need to speak with her. Are you mental? My mom would never kill her, what? Of course not. But confirming truth is logical. Confirming truth in a logical, sequential order is a basic part of any good investigation. You need to worry about a thing. Simply submerge yourself in your mechanical thinking we'll as always. Again. Come on, dear here, we shan't stay any longer. Fishua Dipaza. See you, Johnny. Are you familiar with Morgan the Fay, King Arthur's half sister? She was a shapeshifter. And yes, and as I'm aware, sure you've noticed by now, times people here have a tendency to do that very thing from time to time. I thought that was a big secret. Nonetheless, it's the truth, is it not? Well, that's not even the world's second base detective has been able to uncover the machinations behind this phenomenon. I've managed to put together one theory, though. Hmm. Oh yeah. Perhaps the island of Avalon mentioned in Altharian legends. Actually, this town, Rainy Woods, happiest town in the world, shapeshifting townspeople, and Scalibur itself. Don't you think it's all a bit too coincidental? Scalibur, you're talking about Cortana, right? Pretty sure Excalibur and Cortana have the separate swords. I have a theory on that as well, albeit a rather flimsy one. At some point, Elizabeth must have uncovered the secret behind the true royal family, and then she subsequently must have gone wrapped up in some war over the inheritance. A fish war and ship as An heron is war in the backwoods of town like this. Jeez, how much worse can it get? A fish war and ship as I. To the southern lake, please. Burry. Burry. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. No 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 Yeah, baby. Yeah. Hey, are you okay? M M Magua. Seems like you're still alive. What the heck happened? Here's me asking the same question, mate. Just calm down and slowly talk to us, dude. What happened, sir? You know, without screaming, impossible. Alright then, it all started when. In summary, the moment you were off here with the food, you saw Miss Martha Carey and what looked like to be a soul with both hands. That's right. She looked just like an angel offering up a prayer or something. And a strange law embraced with Martha. She went into the woods. There was a hole in the light raining, shining, raining down from the heaven it was. And after you saw the light, that's the next thing you knew. You were unconscious on the ground, correct? Exactly. Hmm. I see. In that case, we'll go look for Martha. She'll return home and see to it that John gets something to eat. 
Better step on it. Pulse into yours, looks like he's about to stall. Romanek, why didn't you say so? If you don't mind, I'll be heading home. Uh, uh, I'll be in the northerly mouth in your capable hands. Looks like we bought ourselves a little time, my dear Hayward. Time to continue our investigation. Appears that Malta has headed into the Kingswood. In that case, we best look for the John first. We actually believe there's a um, giant living in these woods. <laughs> in a visual sense, I do. You saw the painting of the John that Mr. Walt proudly had him display in his room, didn't you? My dear Hayward. Or the same location, look it out from the same angle. Saying that I look look at it from an angle, I'll make the landscape look like a giant. Wall <laughs> deduced in the easel that Malta left behind. They serve as a perfect clue. Should we be able to snap a picture of the John that lurks in this forest from over there? Which is up to you. Report back to me once you've got the photograph. Fish one, Jepata. What the heck? Fish one, Chipuza. Well, do I'm gonna go over there? I can go over there. Fish one, chip is up. Dill pickle. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. May I please ascend? Was I not supposed to come over here? Did you manage to get the photograph of the John that's in the forest? <sighs> oh no no, this isn't even close, we need to zoom in more and we'll be able to see this thing. I think I bought that zoom. Hey. Thanks as always. Managed to get the photograph of the John that lurks in the forest. Look at that hunker, man. <laughs> Billy, I'm my day, hey, what? Irrefutable evidence. Evidence? Exactly, the photograph will force Mr. Walter to tell us everything. Come now, back to the Walt residence for you. Come back to the and track down Martha. We can do that if you like, I wouldn't recommend it though. Truth, well, then, if you know more objections to make, my dear Hayward, let us reconvene with the Walt residence today. We 
might get there before sundown. Dunkin' 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 I'll jump it. Not what I wanted to do. What are you so long, my dear? Hey, Wed. It's in Chippaw. Now, Tally Ho, the door of the truth book, and the door once again. I don't know they ever shut up. Oh, we have a cutty. A cutty. Or not. How are you? Greetings, Mr. Watt. Today we have photo photographs we'd like to show you. Go on, reveal the photograph of the good sir, my dear Hayward. Mm. Heavens, what a brilliant shot. We are certainly no use in holding the narrow you wrought. It was Martha who painted the picture there in the wall. Forgive me for being so forward. But artistically, I found that piece to be rather lacking. How did it come to be hung in your drawing room and over all places? And Martha first met 40 years ago. At the time, Martha was 21 and Rudman was still only 12. Bro, you're 52. Back then, Martha had moved from Rainy Woods to London in order to study painting. But after losing her parents in a tragic train accident, she was taken in by the White family. Rudman's father, a tyrannical landowner, was quickly taken by Martha's beauty and made her his mistress. Rudman eventually learned of this, but there was nothing he could do. Nine years later, while studying at university in London, he received a single letter from Rainy Woods. It told, in painstaking detail, her vicious treatment at the hands of his father, which drove Rudman to return to Rainy Woods that evening on an overnight train. I grabbed all this information from looking for told, look, looking through the town's old documents and newspapers. Two weeks after you returned to Rainy Woods, your father passed away. Mr. Watt, did you boldly or express that night? Uh. There's no statue of limitation when it comes to our country's pain, Uncle. Let me just say this, I've always fancied poor y'all over homes. Well, you gotta be kidding me. All the matters like those, I'm concerned that most partial to the stubborn, Logan's logic. And did you invite Martha to the party as well? Oh, we thought about it, we went back and forth over whether or not she's doing it all. But in the end, it was all for naught. From the return, 
When the curtain fell into Palti, Malta appeared right in front of me. Took the sword from my hand and said, This is Cortana the Pickett's Excalibur. As a Pickett descendant. Pickett descendant. Inherited of King Alter's blood, his very last daughter, the one true king. Bless you, young not Rodman. Bless your courage and a sense of justice. Then Martha fainted and fell on the floor right there. I'll see. Uh. Much of the story is not worth much telling. Martha forgot all about what had transpired during the party. Now it's a coward beyond any help. Eventually, Martha chose Thomas to be her husband. The two married and shortly gave birth to John shortly after. What could I do with all for any blessing I had in Europe to no. give? We got a pretty old deal, old man. Oh heavens, no. Martha finally found happiness. I couldn't have asked for any greater salvation. But what about now? It seems like that salvation might not have been all tried up to be. See, the sword that impaled Elizabeth really was the same antique that sword that you uh, had in your house. Then Martha could be involved somehow, especially considering what she said to you before she fainted. Martha's from the generation who grew up seeing Queen Elizabeth II reign for entirety for their lives. As a descendant of King Arthur, maybe Martha gradually gave in to the fabricated rebellion growing inside of her. And maybe one day she came to see the false Queen Elizabeth as the ultimate target for her holy army. <laughs> an amazingly incoherent theory, but also a brilliant amusing one, I think they would. Not some stupid, it's not some stupid theory. Psychos commit revenges like these all the time in New York. Especially the ones who melted their brains out on acid. Uh, I thought it was just a fairy tale. A fictional soul, fictional king, fictional knot. No. Fiction can still inspire murder. Even fairy tales. Martha must be in Kingswood. And as one who has inherited the blood of the true king, Kingswood was truly shrouded. For you two can enter the Kingswood as long as you possess this key. Thank you. Please, you must save her. You must save my Martha. Say that name. <sighs> that told me everything. So it was Mom who killed Elizabeth. But she might have stolen the soul to run away. Hopefully we'd even imagine something that this could ever happen. Suppose it ain't possible. I mean, John's dad knows everything about that Robin knows. Well, this is a small town. Maybe everyone really does know about everyone else's dirty laundry. But you know what? I still believe the old day. Let me cook up some pretty murderous dishes at Tom's. Some Tom's are fun. All my what undies frozen to death from being left out on the lawn. I never actually killed anyone. Yep. Probably as you were able to survive uh -huh. this long. Well, a family, all we? No matter how clumsy what any one of us is, we can always laugh it off. This time you see it, can you get this for two for me? Our paint set is pretty dry though. Sure you want to give her this? This is the one my dad bought for her right before they got married. The green paint's from a different set because he got the first book the present I ever got her. Let me guess you gave her your favorite color? Well, that was quick. Come on, I was just a stupid kid. Get up my arse. But she really seemed to like it, you know? I reckon that's why she keeps it in her room, even to this day. Now, how in the bloody heck could a mum make that kill anyone, let alone Elizabeth? Yep. Alright, 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 right, I'll make sure to give it to her. I'm do you one better and bring her right back <laughs> to you. Just be a good little mechie. And we're here, John Berryman. Cortana, Blade of Legend. Yeah, baby. We're gonna go to bed. We'll get our last drink for the uh, drink queen. We'll challenge what's his face to a drink off. Yeah, baby. I'm gonna walk away for a moment. Then we'll go back and do that for the end of the f f 40 minutes. Till Sage. Yeah. Yeah, baby. I think I lost money in my account balance. What happened there?
Beep the buzzwords. I did not get the buzzwords. He won't get out of bed till like 9 p.m. actually, or 9 a.m. So we're just gonna head to Kingswood, but I will get the drink of the day first. talking about I have literally drank every because you had to you definitely have to have the mission marked okay it's so dumb <laughs> for each beer you gotta have the mission marked it's, it's wild all right I will be right back 